Hello there, welcome to Architect Interview Question Series. And here we are covering many questions regarding architect interviews, or system design interviews, and different architect vocabulary. Let's go through our next question. Question is explain the concept of caching in software architecture. So we use caching in one form of another, but let's see like deeper into this. What is this concept? How do we use caching? What are different kind of cache? What are the benefits? So in a software system, uh, cache is a component that provides very fast access to data stored in it. So cache is like a kind of a memory. I mean, cache is different from like a normal hard disk. And if you see whenever we use cache, it's a very fast memory, very fast access to get to the data. Cache can be implemented using a hardware system like component or as a software component also. Both the options are available. So we can use as a hardware component or as a software component. So in general, the one rule about cache is that you will not find all the data in the cache. It's like, you know, so expensive. So we cannot store all the data in cache. So it will only be containing some subset of the data. And what is that subset? Like, you know, it's a small part of the data. That depends upon which data it needs high usage. So that's what we store in the cache. Another rule regarding the caching is that data stored in cache is transient in nature. So you cannot depend that this data will be stored forever. So it will be stored for some time and after some time it may go away also. So that way uh, you have fast access to some data, but don't expect that this will be always provided in fast access. So that is the transient nature of cache data. Another thing is that cache is generally costlier than the primary storage. Like, I mean, if you have hard drive, so hard drive is much cheaper, whereas cache is an expensive component. So you store lesser amount of data in cache. You cannot store everything in cache. So you need to be selective. You need to put an algorithm like what to store, when to take it out of the cache, when to refresh your cache. So that way you have to be mindful of using the data that to be has to be stored in the cache. And in caching, uh, we get a high speed access to the data, which is retrieved frequently. So like what we do is that if data is used frequently, what we, we store, we read it from the hard drive, physical storage and store it in the cache. And if it is not read frequently, then we take it out so that feature request i mean they can keep accessing the data from cache uh, in a very fast way and if it is getting stale then we just refresh that cache for the more latest data that is has more chances of getting access one of the hardware implementation of cache is by ram random access memory so if you increase the ram your uh, like you know caching increases and you have more capacity in the cache to store that and that is one hardware implementation and software implementation are also there but they are on top of the ram mechanism only so while implementing caching we have to uh, take care of another important aspect called time to live ttl so time to live means like after a specific time the data in the cache has to be expired because that is a time when we see that usage of the data is dropping. So it's better to expire this data and give chance for other data to come into the cache. So this is done by configuring the TTL parameters. So we can say that time to cache like live is 30 seconds, one hour, that kind of a thing. That way we maintain it. Some of the popular caching options are HTTP cache headers. So in HTTP headers, we can you know maintain the cache. Elastic cache. I mean, this is also like, you know, we have Elastic Cache from AWS uh, provides that and they had like, you know, different uh, like vendors, they provide Elastic Cache support. Memcache T or Redis, this is also another caching mechanism. Then we have DNS caching, like domain name server caching and content delivery network, CDN caching, which is also becoming very popular these days. So like Netflix and all, they use CDNs. So there are different caching options for different different uh, components in the system. So we can use them based on their needs. We'll be having a downstream lecture on these different types of cache in more detail. So what are the benefits of caching? So first benefit of caching is to reduce the database cost. 
so we can reduce the database uh, cost and we don't need to depend on like you know uh, only the physical drives for that increase the read throughput so read performance increases if you have cache then uh, multiple queries can be answered very fast from the cache itself there's no need to read from the physical drive predictable performance yeah this is very good because in cache like i mean if you store things like a hash map so i mean it's a constant order kind of a way where the search happens so things will be happening very fast and so performance is increased for a system we have personally found like you know we have memcached or redis cache it increases the performance of a system for like query and then improved application performance even when we have caching the applications also take lesser time to process the request so if application has maintained some cache and they can read that like configuration data or like readily accessible data from there that improves their performance in handling the queries and last but not least when we improve this performance the load on backend services reduces so there's no need to maintain a heavy database because we have a caching mechanism that, that can answer most of the queries only for like you know specific queries or just to load the data we go to the backend services so these are the major benefits that we follow in the caching hope you like it and if you have more questions on caching do post your questions and comments and thank you for listening and do subscribe to the channel uh, for so many helpful uh, new topics and lectures thanks and have a great day